Alright, hello everybody. Anomalous Joe here. Three more to go. Wraiths of Quiet Hamlet. Heo Kai team presents Wraiths of Quiet Hamlet. The Witcher set off in search of new quests. He arrives to a small village with a pastoral name, Quiet Hamlet. That guy skipping. Just stop on his route, but even a place like this for combat gods may be a job opportunity for a monster slayer. Wait, stranger. What's the matter? You look like someone who could help me solve a problem. Who are you? My name's Caligore. I was a mercenary in Temerian Army. Recently I dealt with protecting merchant caravans. Do you, white haired? Who are you, if I might ask? I'm Gerald, a witcher. Witcher? Then I have a job just for you. What do you mean? There are ghosts, or actually wraiths, haunting the village for a couple of days. Ghosts? I killed monster? Ghosts are not my specialty. Do you guys play the game? They're rather wraiths. Haven't you fought wraiths before? A silver sword or wraith that allows to chase them away. It doesn't kill the wraith, though. Getting rid of them for good is more complicated. At the same time, more expensive. If you get rid of them, I won't stint on money. What would you say for 300 orans? 300? 600 would be a fair price. Are you crazy, Witcher? Oh my god, why do people put bargaining? 400, not an oran less. Let it be. Before I take the job, I have to familiarize myself with the situation. Maybe you know someone who knows anything about ghosts or wraith. Which brings us to the village. Sure, I'll take your job. Could you... I'm not really educated. Yeah. Learn something about that in the temple. You can talk to her. Talk to locals could also be a good idea. First, you should talk to the fisherman by the river. He's a deep one, but he somehow knows a lot. He could tell you something about the wraiths. I'll remember to talk to him in the first place. Is there anything interesting in the village apart from ghosts? It's a hole, but there's a tavern. The beer thin with water tastes like horse piss. Beer also always tastes like horse piss. Some village girls are pretty nice. Very timid. Ha ha. I'll have a look around and talk to people. If I learn how to get rid of the race, I'll come back to you. Farewell. Yay. Alright. Strength, strength. Why does it start me with intelligence? That's weird. Or maybe it starts me with, like, herb gathering. Yeah. Just in case there's any fucking poison. Learn all of those. Mm. Uh, I knew more about the. Why well, now I'm gonna be fighting wraiths, so. I'm fighting, let's just say humans. Let's just pretend it's humans. Let's just immediately talk to the guy we were talking to. Welcome. I'm still gathering information about the wraiths. Well, if it's not permanent, hurry up. Where will I find the priestess? You know, I'm not wandering around following her. Beekeepers and smith children and an old man in Marison's hunter ill. It's the opposite, opposite the smith's ill. If she's supposed to look after the ill, I would find her in the house huts. Where will I find the fisherman? He's right over there. But 
the river, of course. What else would you expect? But remember, if the fish are biting, you have to talk to him a few times. Uh -huh. He notices you and starts talking. You said you've been protecting merchant caravans? Well, I protected. Why, why don't I look like someone who would protect caravans? They killed many else, sons of dogs, who wanted to steal human goods. Goodbye. Do I even know fire? Oh, shit. Uh, Do I know fire? Okay, good. Need fire. La la la. Who are you? Tell me. Who are you? Tell me. I'm a witcher. And I'm Jim. Hello, I'm Geralt. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Am I? Uh... Shh. The fish are biting. Nah, just he's... Who are you? I'm a witcher. And I'm fishing, as you can see. Brings you here, except for scan a fish. Go sought your village at night? Ah, uh, yes, they do. My brother can't sleep because of them. Haven't you heard about maybe about people being lost? I don't think so. Actually, I'm here on the footbridge all the time. So maybe something about strange things happening near the village. No, nothing. Maybe the village leaders will know something. Where can I find him? Nowadays, he's either drunk walking in the fields or at the inn. If you buy him something strong and play dice, he may tell you what he saw in the fields. Or maybe something about ghosts. He wasn't like that before, but after his only son, Khaled, went to the city to earn some money and hasn't shown any signs of life for two months, he drinks all the time? Does that mean he died? Or he just doesn't call the home? I think it's time to change the village leader. Anything else? I've seen a man in the village who looks just like you. Yes, that's my twin brother, Jim. Two springs ago, we got drunk and fell off the boat. He hit his head on the oar, and after we managed to get him out, he started to behave strangely. Since then, instead of finding himself a job, he runs on the meadow, plays with the kids, and dances in the village. There's my brother, so I won't throw him out of the house, and he does no harm. The only problem is that he forgets talking to someone before. Anything else? Can you tell me something about Caligor? I've seen you talk to him. He's being so important lately. Back then, he was a lazy bones and wastrel. <laughs> he ran away from home with two buddies, and now they have more and more money than are in the inn and often in the end field. Whatever. Most of them in a small portion of the city. Oh, they got back a day after the village leader's son went to the city. Strange they didn't meet on the road. Anything else? Aren't you bored of standing here by the river? The fish is biting, so I'm not. I'm just a bit parched. I don't want to stop fishing, and the inn is quite far. So if you were somewhere near the inn, take a beer for me. I'm sure you won't lose money on that. I'll make sure you won't lose money on that. See what I can do. Anything else? Time to finish. Farewell. I should talk to the village leader. I should get you some beer. This is the same town as before, right? Yeah, people love this shitty town. I'm on a break now. The hens lay less eggs because of those rights. Who are you? Why are you looking for in our village? I'm a witcher. Witcher? Patui, damn it. Off the hide vessels, the vessels somewhere. I already have to drive Caligor and his friends off. Now a horny witcher. Who do you want to hide from me, Granny? No one. What's the interest? I'm just talking to myself. What do you want in here? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll take care of your wraiths. I'm afraid to go to bed because of those wraiths. You can deal with wraiths, but don't look at girls. What girls? No girls. We don't have any young girls. Just old ones are married. Old ones? Shut up, woman. Or I'll talk too much. What else do you, what else do you want? How's life? Not too good, not at all. The old man is being sick. You do all you can. Make him soup so he won't break those old teeth. And he's whinging all the time. Soup and soup again. Maybe you could make him something else if he doesn't want any soup. Something else? He's an old fool with a few teeth left. He can only eat soups. You won't bite anything. You're a fool just like him. What else do you want? Can you something tell me something about this village? What can I tell you? We're here like my father and grandfather before us. Sometimes we have t someone new coming, like this blacksmith or sheep herder over there. They say he came from the mountains. 
Sheep chairs would fit better. Doesn't even have a decent pen for those sheep. They're walking all around his hut then. Willie must stink. What else do you want? Is there any in here? Yes, there is. Go along this road. This is for brothers like witches. The only drink and fighting. I would drive the sin keeper off as well. He's leading people astray. The old man, when he was younger, if he left in the morning, he returned in the evening. Wait, if he left in the evening, he returned in the morning, drunk as a lord and with his mug beaten up. He told me he was boxing there. That he would bring money. Stupid. Now he lost his strength. Only sometimes does he ask the blacksmith to bring him some booze. But if it succeeds, then I have a chat with the blacksmith. What else do you want? I heard some people here get sick. Ah, oh, yes, they do. Children. My old man is sick. He doesn't want my soup. Old geezer. Don't you want him to get well? He speaks of him so bad. Of course I do want. He's stupid and grouchy, but he's my old man. And we've been through so much. Where would I find another like him? I don't think I'd have eternal sorrow if he didn't recover. At least we have this priestess. She's looking after the sick. She's young, but a good girl. That's why you witches don't even look at her. I know you'll come on to everyone, but don't touch the priestess and my, her, other girls. What else do you want? I'm looking for someone. For whom? Uh, priestess? At my place, looking after my old man. Fisherman? Probably by the river fishing. Gallagher. Hi, somewhere in the village. Have a closer look. Thank you, Granny. What else do you want? Farewell. Jesus crap. This is a big house, compared to what we saw. Welcome, beautiful. You look worried. What's the matter? My poor pops is ill. The swine blood pun keeps bothering me. No one cares about my problems. And I lost my ring. I do care. You'll see. Everything will be fine. Who are you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. You're very kind. My name is Vesna. What kind of important business brought you here? We'll see if it's important. The moment I've had to look around and ask people if they need my help. Yes, Geralt. So what problems do you have? My pops is ill, but I already told you that. It's been a while since we had a merchant in the village. I can't even buy anything pretty. This Caligore wanted to give me a ring, but I'm afraid of him. I don't want anything from him. But you seem to be... Um, Different. Yes, Geralt. You said you lost your ring? Yes, while I was going, doing the washing in the river, it slipped on my finger. I liked it so much, it had a nice blue stone. I'll look for your ring for you. Don't worry. Oh, I don't even know how I could repay you. We will think of something. We will think something up together. Oh, you horn dog. I'm gonna now steal your food. I promise to bring Vanessa some nice ring. Old damaged box. Yoink. So apparently I get to keep my fancy armor when I play The Witcher 2. I don't know if it'll do the same thing. Welcome, Witcher. I'm Doria. M Melitel Priestess. Welcome, my name's Geralt, but how do you know who I am? I've met others like you. A medallion you wear, and two swords on your back. Which style? A man named Caligor told me about the wraiths disturbing the village. Maybe you know something that could help me destroy the ghosts. I have some more serious problems in Ghost Witcher. I can't help you. Caligor is a bad man. You shouldn't trust him. Do you maybe know where those wraiths come from? The souls of dead don't reappear by accident. Only those who died suddenly can't find their peace after death and return as wraiths. Unfortunately, I know nothing more about the ghosts, as the locals sometimes talking to an ordinary villager could give you more than you could expect. Are you sure you don't know how to destroy the wraiths? Even if I knew that, you would never learn it from me. Never. These wraiths were once men. Something made them what they are now. Instead of finding out how to destroy them, you should find out what to do to make them leave in peace. As you know, that's not what my job is about. I've heard enough about you to know that you don't destroy or kill if you don't have to, White Wolf. Yes, Witcher. What are you doing in the village? The villagers went down with a strange illness. Many children are sick. There's also some cases among the older ones. 
I managed to discover the cure, but I ran out of it. There are no necessary ingredients in the village to make a new potion. I sent a letter to the Covenant asking them to send me medicine, but the merchant who was supposed to come. The cure is late. Is there anything I could do to help? Yes, and I know piss appear near the village. If I managed to get at least five roots, I could make a brew that would lower the temperature of the sick. I'll do my best. Thank you. Yes, witch. Where can I find you if I had some questions for you? In the morning, I'll let Vincent's parents. Her father is ill. Then I go see the smith's daughter. In the afternoon, I collect herbs, and then I go to the beekeeper's house. I stay there for the night and look after the beekeeper's son. If you won't be able to find me, ask the people in the village. Yes, Witcher? How long have you been here? I arrived a few days ago. At first, the illness, illness gave people head and stomach aches. Now it's more serious, as the sick barely or don't leave their beds at all. Yes, Witcher? Farewell. May Melitel illuminate your way. Hey, Gramps. What do you want from me? I mean, I've got a few questions. Uh, Witcher, what do you want from an old sick man? I'm trying to solve the problem of the wraiths. I don't think I can help you. As one of the oldest villagers, you must have heard some stories about ghosts. Maybe I do remember some, but I'm hungry, I'm tired. The elder feed me with soup. No. Soup. Every day. It's damn soup. I hate soup. I'd be more than happy to tell you some stories for a piece of roasted mutton. What a wish, Gramps. I'll see what I can do. Farewell. Do I not have mutton? I guess not. Let's find out how to destroy the wraiths. Kill the... In shops. Okay, good. I did start recording. I was got worried for a second there. Okay, do you have anything else to say? Farewell. Goodbye. Alright, so we've gone to two houses so far. Oh, are you off your break? Well, well, look who's come to our village. The monster two plants lay here. Welcome. I see you've met someone like me before. Not really, but I traveled a lot and heard different stories. You're Jarelt. Well, I will if I've heard about you. Yes, that's me. Unfortunately, a certain garrulous bard <laughs> rattles on him. You know, me a lot. I'm a smith in this village. My name is Roven. What brings you to me? Oh, God. Is there anyone sick in your family as well? Yes, unfortunately, my beloved daughter. She was here, there, and everywhere, running around with that beekeeper's blood all the time. Eh, my lovely Moppet. Um, is that a, a term of endearment? I'm a strong man, Witcher, but I don't know what to do with that illness. If it was sent by someone, I would set off against them immediately. And now all I can do is wait and look if the priestess can do something about it. Sometimes I want to smash the old smithy with my hammer, just to do something. Don't worry, Melatel priests are great healers. They healed my numerous wounds, as you can see. I'm standing right in front of you. They'll be right, Richard. I'll be right. What brings it to me? Calamagor wants me to deal with the race which haunt the village. Can you tell me anything about them? Hmm. They really are quiet Hamlet's troubles. We're all playing at our homes when they come. Blue frog rises, the smoke coming from the chimney starts to grow blue. And then the wraiths come. Once in my anger, I tried to attack one with my sword, but I did no harm. And when they moved to me, I barely managed to escape into my hut. I think they can't enter the huts because they left me alone. He doesn't have the right weapon, but even if he managed to kill one, it would return the next day. It's a tough one, Witcher. We'll see what brings you to me. Put food in your bowls. You must be talking about gnomes. My wife leaves them food. The gnomes will help you, but maybe ask someone else about that. They haven't helped me in my smithy yet, but what could such a small one do? Swords like needles? My daughter, when she was healthy, said they were little men with pointed hats. Didn't look that close to them. What brings you to me? Maybe you have some weapons to sell. Unfortunately, I'm not that skilled at forging weapons to offer you something better than you already have, but please take a look at what I have to offer. Yes, yeah, this is all garbage. I have this flat. What brings you to me? I'm looking for someone. I spent almost my whole day in my smithy. Sometimes I go to the inn for a beer in the evening, so maybe I could help. Who are you looking for? 
No, I'm good. Thanks. Uh, Chet, have you heard of Encoppers being around? I have. Uh, you have the runes. I don't let my child go to the meadows, so nothing bad would happen to her, and now she's dying because of some illness. Maybe thanks to that information, your dad will get a brew that could use the pain. Thank you. If you speak the truth, I would, wouldn't let you go unrewarded. What brings you to me? Can't just get a fuck. All these people that are like, yeah, we should write a long ass story. Should we include voice acting? Meh. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like some sort of size consideration of the module. Like they would have included voices, even bad ones, but um, because of... Like they probably had to be under a certain size. Well, you're probably gonna die. Okay, so I need to go to the inn eventually. Oh, hey. I haven't seen you before. That's Abigail. Who are you? I'm a witcher. You have a name, witcher? I'm Rita, Abigail. My name's Drilt. What are you doing here? What would a witcher do? I'm looking for monsters to slay. The only ones that come to mind are these wraiths. They don't want to sleep at night. They're the ones I'm going to... They're, those are the one, these are the ones I'm going to deal with. Yes, witcher, how can I help you? Tell me about the wraiths. Can't sleep at night. We have two of them. My husband, we played a militel. Luckily, they appear only for an hour, but that's the scariest hour in the whole night. Can you tell me about the locals? You can find the fishermen by the river. You can learn interesting things from them. A bit farther, you can meet the beekeeper and the sheep herder. Always chased by bees. The second one sees nothing but his sheep. Yeah, there's an inn. You can go a bit farther behind the village. My husband goes there for a while. In the evening, we've never gotten too drunk not to get back home. Well, tell sent me a good husband, but why does she afflict her daughter with illness? My beloved Rovan thinks all the world of her daughter. I'm afraid he could do something stupid because of that illness. Is there a priest in the village? Yes, there is. Saucers for milk. It's our home gnome. They do no harm to anybody. They have to try to help here and there in the huts. Probably once the gnomes sometimes take children for a magical ship on a trail of smoke over the rooftops. I don't know how much truth this is, but the beekeeper's son spoke of it as well with great excitement. I'm looking for someone who... Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. Thank you. I am too much, too much. Maybe if it was interesting. Maybe if it was interesting. But it's just like, not. It's just not. Oh, hey. Where's the uh, sheep herder? Probably near the sheep, right? Yep, you just do it for me, Geralt. Yeah. Welcome, our Master Sheep Herder. I'm a master, I just send my sheep. My father was a Master Sheep Herder. Non humans chased out the mountains. Damn them. You seen my sheep? They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, I wanted. Look at Betsy. Your fleece will make good stock for winter. Which one is Betsy? Each one is Betsy. Very nice name. My dad used to call his sheep like that. I forget anything about ghosts. They frighten my sheep. Futile. I guess I will learn nothing from you. You probably don't have any job for a witcher. You're a witcher? You're a real witcher? So you deal with race and my sheep will sleep peacefully. Maybe I will have business with you. We'll see about those wraiths that need some information. Yes, Witcher, what do you know about the wraiths? They just, they frighten my beloved sheep, nothing more, actually. They appear at twelve at night, fly over the village, howl, squawk, and frighten God-fearing people. Priests are told to pray when the gods come, so I pray, but I don't think those wraiths care about prayers. What else do you want to know? Actually, I need to know something more. Yes, Witcher? How's it going with herding? It isn't. Merchants don't want to come, and I can't sell my fleece anywhere. In the past, I didn't have enough of that. There were so many of them, and now... Who knows what happened to those merchants? Luckily, the innkeeper buys some mutton, so I can earn some money on that. What else do you want to know? That's all. Farewell. Is this freaking beekeeper? Alright, so we talked to Granny, we talked to the Smither. What's the fisherman's hut? The 
We know what's in there, though. That was in another one. Okay, that's impossible to get to. It's abandoned hut. Mm, looks pretty abandoned, but that's a super suspicious basement. If I do say so myself. All right, but the village leader just sometimes Randomly wanders the fields. Oh, there's the beekeeper. Talk to me. Ah! What happened? A bee stung me again. Who told you to irritate bees? I'm a beekeeper. That's my job. So you must be a lousy beekeeper. Lousy, lousy. I'm not as good at my job as my grandpa and pops. And who are you? I'm Drell Twitcher. What brings you here? I'm a witcher. I usually kill monsters. My bees are no monsters. One or two stings, that's all. But at least I have some honey. Stolen hands? Well, that's their nature. Didn't even cross my mind to chase after bees. So, what brings you here? A mission and mice which appear in your village. Nothing will race. They leave my house alone. They don't appear during the day. Just scary at night. We pray together with the priestess. And they deal with the wraith problem. I'd really appreciate it. What brings you here? Play to the four in the huts. It's for gnomes. If you give them milk, then they'll take care of your child or sweep the floor at night. They do no harm. So you have gnomes running all over the place at night. Not the whole night. If you sit still, they appear after the wraith's hour and you can see them running in the hut. Aren't you afraid they would break something? That's why we leave this. Grandpa told me that if you don't leave anything for the gnomes, they can do their business. Into the honey, oh. And they fermented Uncle's cow's milk right in her udder? Ugh. But Grandpa told me. But they are good. They do lots of good. You had to leave them something to eat at night. They just love milk. Yeah, I bet they love rancid milk as well. Don't worry, I haven't hunted any gnomes and I don't plan to. What brings you here? Illness is, yes, my beloved son is sick. He wants to be a blacksmith in the future. I won't forbid him. My dad told me to be a deekeeper, but I'll make my son to be one. It's enough that I go around to swollen hands. I hope that a priestess would help with this illness. That's what you came here for. And besides, oh, will you help me find some? Oh, God. Wait, wait no, where's the village leader? In the inn? Oh, he's in the inn already? Okay, so he's not in his house. I don't know. Goodbye. In here. Let's just ransack his house then, since he's never home. Dr. Gramps. Okay, good. You have nothing to say. Beekeeper's wife. Hello, stranger. Who are you? I'm Joel the Witcher. Who are you? I'm Andy, Beekeeper's wife. You must have seen him. He's the one from his swollen hands. My mother warned me not to marry the same duck, and what do you do in our village, Witcher? I'm looking for information about wraiths which appear in your village. It's trouble to go out then. Now, time for this, I have bigger problems. I've heard about the priests in the village. Yes, the Temple of Melitol is to look after the sick in this village. Our beloved son is also sick. Poor thing barely shows once in life. He barely lives bed. I'm so worried. What do you call your husband a lame duck? I see you haven't spoken to him yet. When you see him, you'll understand. What kind of beekeeper lets his bees sting him all the time? He's always walking around with these swollen hands. And now he opens up a hive and runs away. Mother told me, warned me. I've seen some plates on the floor. So you must protect for the food we leave for the gnomes. They are good voodoo. They don't listen to my husband. He listens to some rubbish at the end. Like about the evil gnomes set beads against him? They won't spare his hands. Leave the milk for the gnomes not to mollify them, but to thank them for sweeping the rooms or cleaning the ash of the stove. So I can start the fire in the morning. Do you see the gnomes? Yes, late at night, about two hours after the race go away. You can see them running around the room. So maybe I'll have some luck as well. You can try, however, I think they'll get scared and hide. Farewell. Who's this guy? Maybe the race won't come back tonight. I'll do my best about it. Sure. 
Uh, I guess also they probably don't speak English. Or as a first language, at least. Ooh, thanks. My belly hurts. I'm a baby. I meant like literally a baby. Ah, uh, okay. I think we, uh... Ooh, Caligore has a hot eh? I'm just gonna... I guess not go in your house. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, who's that? It's a statue. Or like a thing. Alright, let's head to the inn. is this way. There's only like four points of interest on this map, so... There we go. It's gonna be in... Road to the city. That's a weird thing to have marked on my map. I mean, yeah, and I realize I could just not click on them. Oh, uh, okay. Things are happening. Or, no, they're just to cinematic urination. Man, how do you piss so quietly? I piss down the pant leg? Isn't that a pitiful waste of trousers? Nah, I'm using yours. Gee, I was once ten. And that would have been hilarious, probably. Ah, oh, they pee in their pants. They're peeing. It's cinematic. Is weird because they use flagons here. Oh my god. It's a thin beer. The innkeeper must have watered it down. Blah blah blah. What does Frank have to say? Are you the village leader? He thinks it's strong. Henry? Okay, that's a weird thing to say. Welcome, Master. What are you? I am what I am. Nothing less, nothing more. Nah. Okay, then. I'll be damned. A witcher in here. Master Innkeeper. You don't have to trumpet so much. Your guest surely knows me already. What do you want? Came to meet the wraiths. Other vile creatures are only Laszlo and Bloodbug. Ugly mugs, haha. But who would hire a witcher for them? Over there by the door, they squander money, so it'd be a surprise to me if some bandits attack them on the road. I don't bother your clients. If we deal with the race, we'll see. What have you got to offer up here? Food and drinks, something to sit by a fire. You don't look like you have an orange to spare, and for free you can get your face beaten up, not a room? Don't you worry about that, Master and Keeper? What do you want? Anything new? Nothing actually. I haven't seen any merchants recently. I'm not sure in booths. My regular stop going. That's not really a problem. I have an idea, you see? I can't leave a business like that. If I had some balsa berries, I could brew some moonshine and wait for the merchants. Yes, I would pay you 250 orange for 20 balsa berries? Yeah, if you put it like this, I'll see what I can do. What do you want? 
I want to store something. Use the chest behind me. A magical one. Make magical. Just like that. We had a sorcerer here once. He was walking around the field looking for something. He said he'd forced to hide in something where... Yeah, did he find anything? Yes, he did. The humble so loud our hands stopped laying eggs for a weekend of fear for the thing that was left in this chest. Any item you're taking out, only by the one who put it in. But then we'll see nothing unless they also put something in themselves. Do you want anything else? Not finished yet. What do you want? In the innkeeper, what's making such smacking noises? Just pigs. What pigs? Oh, the ones I keep in the basement. You didn't think my clients behaved like this. Of course I didn't. What do you want? I'm looking for someone... Wait, what? If they're not here, then in the village, where else could they go? Uh... Can you... I need a mutton. I need beer. Does he not have any mutton? Huh. I guess not. What do you want? I actually want to sell you this. And this. And this. Just to make some inventory space. Why? Who's decided to sort potions to the bottom? Chicken, pork, bear fat, dried food and nuts. I'll keep the milk, because they keep talking about milk. Why isn't that here? What? Whatever. Oh, I guess I can put it in here. Welcome, master. Okay, I don't know why those don't stack. Alright, I will see you later. I talked everybody here. And then there's just fighters here. Okay, I guess let's just go here. There's some wolves, but I don't fucking care about that. I need some berries? What kind of berries? Janata berries? Balisa. Oh, there's some balisa. And that's why they forced you to take it, or whatever, they gave it to you for free. There's some end shops. Can't take out my weapon, I see. They 
aren't leaving corpses, right? Or remains. Eh, I probably won't die. Ah, oh, there's there's a whole bunch. Okay, never mind. I thought there was only one more. Come on, Jerome. Oh my god, I hate you. Why is everything going into my backpack? Is it Janata berries? Balise berries. Oh, there are remains. I just didn't notice it. Let's try this. Come on. Oh my god. It's not that... It's just that it deselects it after you put your sword away because you're in a non-combat zone. not more. Okay. Uh, but I'm still looking for Belize. 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 Uh, okay, that's super weird. Where can I get some mutton? The dude said he sells his mutton to the innkeeper, but the innkeeper didn't have any for sale. So yeah, that's how that works. I don't see any more Belize, so... Though we spawn at midnight, I guess. Oh, can I not even go through this way in this one? Alright then, I guess that's one way to deal with the big hole in the middle of the area. Just make it so that the one half doesn't even allow you to go through. So where's the fucking mayor? He was supposed to be like walking around here or in the inn. 
he was none of those places. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's some more Belize. Belisa. Boy. Give me a break. I don't have time to. Oh, fuck these people who make these games. Nope, you can't talk to this NPC now. I mean, we told you where he'd be, but no, you can't talk to him now. The NPCs didn't say he'd be busy if he was in the fields, and you should only talk to him at the end. No, they did not. Can you give me some fucking mutton? Which is something but a job for me. You know, Master Witcher, it's just a small job. Please don't feel offended. You will talk already? The wolves are strangling my sheep, dammit. You have to kill those wolves in their breeding ground. Their breeding ground, you say. Ah, uh, yes, behind the inn. They come here all the time and snap. Take the sheep you need. What can you give me for those wolves? I give you most mutton. I can sell the meat cheaper than the others. Indeed, that's not too much. And you have the rest at my place for free. Sleep with stinky sheep? What do you mean, stinky? My sheep are clean. What are you talking about, Master Witcher? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I wish you would have. I thought he said, I don't know, based on the English that was given to me, I thought that was going to happen after I had gotten rid of the wraiths, but I guess I was mistaken. Let's go kill these fucking wolves. Because I know they're just like right here ish. Oh good, and then maybe on the way back I can finally talk to the fucking village leader. Belisa, Belisa. Hey friends. Oh yeah. are stronger than uh usual or I'm weaker that's also a possibility please to just let me loot these things Go to the inn, see if we can't talk to the village leader. And then I guess we're gonna have to wait for the Belize to respond. Cause that's all he can make alcohol out of. My butt is falling asleep. Yes. Uh oh right, I was supposed to drink with him. Farewell. Do I have... I have one beer. But I need a whole bunch. Uh, I don't think that's enough. Oh, it's a gift though, right? a gift, not a drinking contest. So. That's it. Very good job. Yes. Ugh. And I have to play poker with him. Wait, what? One, two... 
Why are his dice a different color? I don't know how this works. I feel like he's cheating. I mean, I can cheat, but I don't know how to. Good reflexes. L3 oh, of a kind. Yeah. It's a what? Wait, wasn't that a straight? One, oh, one, four. Sorry, yeah. Almost. One, two, three. I've got a pair of my opponent has nothing. It's not a very safe pair, though. Like a 50-50 chance of three of a kind. Uh, I don't know how this works. Oh, I'm so flex. Okay, it's a tie. I hate this game so much. One, two, four, five, six. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, okay. Will you talk to me now? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. We played, we drank. Now tell me, what brings you here? Have you seen anything strange around? What? Was I to see? Some monsters? Maybe some human corpses? Yeah, wolves by in the inn. And further. Further, hug your plants. Cut a wolf fate. I got somewhere fast. Do you have maybe another bottle? Oh, you've had enough already. I mean... Oh, okay. I heard you can tell me something about the ghosts. Ah, why do you hurt me, friend? They come to my village every night. They want revenge. How did I hurt you? That voice. The voice of one of the wraiths. It sounded just like my son, who was not showing sounds of any, of any life for so long. My beloved Khaled. Maybe it's his wraith that flies above the village. Give me something I dropped my lesson. and I don't want to think about it. Uh, sure. Ah, thank you, my friend. Alright, that's all. Okay, good. So the guy who told us to get rid of the wraith murdered the dude's son, stole all his money. And now the son's back as a wraith. And so probably killing the dude will remove the curse and save the village. And something, and then we're gonna have to get milk for a gnome. Obviously. Because it's come up 15 times. Alright, I have to talk to the priestess, but first I have to talk to the... Oh, shit. Uh, I just gave the beer. The dude, didn't I? 
I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Oh well. Uh, hopefully that's not a permanent mistake. Oh. Hi. Yes, Witcher? I have the ending chops. The Echinops roots. You can make medicine for the temperature. Thank you, Witcher. Here's a healing and strengthening potion. I believe they can come in handy. It's supposed by the power of Melitelli, so use it prudently. I've talked to the village leader about the wraiths. Yes? The village's son... The village's leader's... The village leader's son, Khaled, shows no signs of life for some time now. The village leader thinks he recognizes his son in the voice of one of the wraiths. You say he's not sure? Not necessarily. You think that Trunk villager leader had hallucinations, but the ghosts who know no peace may haunt the place they're from. Such ghosts, wraiths, hoped they would find peace in their homestead. Could I talk to the wraiths? That would be difficult. The wraiths had difficulties in recognizing their close ones, let alone strangers. Unfinished business that keeps them in this world absorbed them so much they probably won't notice you at all. So there's no way. There is, with a very slight chance of success. You would have to have an item that belonged to the wraith in their lifetime, but even then you couldn't be sure that the wraith wouldn't notice you would start talking. There was a risk that the wraith, instead of ta talking, would become even more frantic. All in all, you wouldn't know what keeps them in the world. I see. I think I should talk to the village leader once again. Yes, Witcher? Goodbye. Uh, Sheeper. Yes, Witcher. Kill the wolves. Oh, great. Here, delicious rose mutton. But of course, you can clean my house. But only when I'm there. At night, I mean. It tastes my gross. I'll gladly sleep you more. Thanks all. Farewell. Uh. This one. Oh, yeah. I have to go get your ring, too. I forgot about that. Wait, how do I get the ring? Sorry, Granny. Do it for me. I'm ill. I have the roast for me reportedly delicious. Ah, uh, great. I just can't wait. But a feast is going to be. I already feel better. Didn't you forget something? You heard of destroy the race? Or yes, the race. That's when we define the bones of those being race and burn them. Mm, interesting. Farewell. Find the bones and burn them. Uh, okay. So, I accidentally sold the booze. And where did you lose your ring? Give me your ring. Ah, farewell, I guess. Beer for the fisherman. Oops. Yeah. She was doing washing in the river. Oh, I didn't say I'd bring her her ring. I said I would bring her ring. Fair enough. Well, let's just follow this. Let's just follow this. We'll see. Is this a place in the original game? Because I never went there. No, nothing? Can't. I don't know. No idea then. about that in the main game. Alright. Let's 
So all the way back. She's praying. Ooh, there's some more Belisa. Why did I give you that beer? I didn't think there's any more. I think I fucked that up. Janko brings you here. Talk to you about your son. Why do you torture me? Give me something to belong to your son. What do you need that for? Because if one of the races is really your son, maybe come around and make him leave in peace. Yes, I have this little plate beautifully with all the time when he was little. It's all I have. Pour it to me. Maybe I'll be able to talk to your son. Alright, take it. But if you don't succeed, I'll go and throw myself at those monster plants. I can't leave any more without doing what happened to my son. You must be talking about incompetence, right? Those monsters grow where someone was murdered. What? Nothing. I'm just thinking it loud. Thank you for well. Do you have any more beer? I accidentally, uh... No, no you don't. Well, I hope that wasn't important. Wait, did I put any in here? No, I have alcohol, but... Oh well, I certainly hope that's not important. Uh, yeah, I guess I should rest here, actually. Till what, 11? To midnight? Yeah. Can I actually brew in this? I can, technically. Nope. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. Maybe I don't actually have to give him the beer. Maybe I just have to have gotten the beer and then talk to him. Where the fuck are you going, mate? Holy jeez. Whoa. Weapon away. Put, put your weapon away. I want to talk to them. Seriously? Put your weapon the fuck away, Geralt. the fuck put it away okay hey Hoodlum. all right Ah, probably this one. That pipe, Khaled? That was.
was my name. Why do you haunt them? What's it like being a ghost? Why do you haunt the village? Revenge! What do the villagers do? We won't go without revenge. There's no point in talking. Find them. Kill. Wait, I have some questions. Oh, uh, who's this? My father, he got scared of the race and fell into the river. He vanished into the water, my poor father. It's dark. We won't help him now. I'm sorry. Go back home. <coughs> Sorry. It's all because of the race. Destroy the witcher. That's what you are for. You destroy monsters. Race won't leave on their own help in one way or another. Race for six in there. Can I just kill Khaled? I'd really like to kill Khaled. Alright, what am I doing now? Appear for the fisherman, ordinary ring, the lost son. Okay. This is a long thing. I need to either take or talk to the priestess without destroying the rest. Earth. Balls to burn. That's that's a really big okay, where's the priestess's house? Ooh, barrel. That's no, it's right. Oh, okay. I see. Uh well there's no point in killing them because they just come back. Where does the, pri the priest stays with the beekeeper at night, right? Um. The beekeeper is this way. Yeah, there's some beehives. Fucking just wake them up. Smack. Alright, let's go to the f fucking sheep herders, I guess. Wherever the hell that is, I don't remember. said I could rest here. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? What? I'll sleep until, uh, morning, and then I'll go to the wherever house. Wait, will she even be there if the guy's lost? I don't know. Wait, isn't he the guy that got lost in the river? Or that, maybe that was just a random villager. Yes, Witcher? Oh, destroy the race. Very well. We should think of how to mollify the anxious souls. As the village leader said, his son's wraith is haunting the village as well. He wants revenge on someone. He won't leave until then. Maybe we should start from there, since we are sure that Khaled is also among the race. Right now, Khaled went towards the city at night. Maybe I should go there and look around for the ground. It's something that cost him his life. He could also die in the city itself. We have to begin with something. I must follow Khaled's route. Farewell. Whoa, 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 I need to go 
towards what? I should go towards the... So it has to be late at night. Um, I am Jim. Get lost, Jim. Um, is the sheep herder around somewhere? Whatever, I'll just go to the inn. find exciting is if they can't wake someone up. Maybe if they maybe they have to click a million times. Or maybe not, because it never works any to other time. And then then when they finally talk to the person, they have to go find somewhere else to sleep to continue the quest. That's such engaging gameplay. We're geniuses. That's that's me mocking them. Checking to see if there was any easy to find giblop or whatever I have to get. Probably just not gonna finish that. Alright. Oh, I can't wait until I can make a deep dish pizza. I want to. Nope, that's not what I want to do. though they've got like themes and non-generic artwork on them oh yeah at least I can run now It did say go this way at night, right? That's what it said. Go this way at night. Yeah, it did. Uh, call us when's the delivery? No, 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 monsieur. Let's do them. No, I beg you, I'll pay. The bridge is broken. I'm asking one last time. Boss, well, someone's coming. What? Damn. It's me, Gerald. I'm gonna murder all of you. In self-defense. You should my head. What's going on here? What the fuck happened to my clothes? Save me, Master Bandits. What should I do about you, White-Haired? You are the reason we have- What the fuck happened to my clothes? <laughs> Kill him. See about let let the music play. He pulled out the wrong sword. That's super great, Geralt's. Oh, 
Which would survive, I have to escort him to the what? Thank you, I don't think I'll come in one piece out of it. Your parents weren't so lucky I was late. Yes, that's a great loss. They were such trustworthy people. And I'm not chance. My name is Jeremiah C. What is the name of my savior? I'm Gerald of Riviera, a witcher. A witcher? It never rains, but it pours. I hope you won't tell me to give you what I already have, but I don't know about it. No, not today, but be careful. Because next time, who knows what I may demand in return. So if you're saving me for free, maybe you could escort me to the nearby inn. I don't want to risk another meeting with the bandits. I don't think there are many more bandits nearby, but I will escort you. First, I have to loot these corpses. Hey, that's revenge. Uh, the village leader will rouse and get him to it. I saved him. I killed the asshole. I never got a ring for that. Oh, wow. His head is far away from his body. Alright, let's go to the end. At least you're following me. Slow butt. Sure, I will quote unquote escort you. The mini map is not making any sense based on what's going on here. Hopefully, he doesn't die. I'm just sort of assuming he won't die. I'm great like that. Oh, there's the village leader ready to greet me. I must have triggered some sort of triggering. Great, the inn. Well, let's go in then. I could have a rest as well. We're away. Many thanks to you, my friend. I can tell you that I came here with a mission. I got some cure in the temple of Militel. I have to give it to a priestess thing in this village. Have you heard of her, maybe? Yes, Doria. That's her name. He's waiting impatiently for that cure. All the sick are feeling worse and worse. Ah, so you do know her. I've been here for some time. Oh, I've been here for some time now. I got to know many people. I'm tired of this unfortunate journey. Maybe you could give the priestess that cure for me. Don't get used too much to good and willing to help. But... Don't get used too much too good and willing to help you witchers. But all right, I'll deliver the care. Here it is. Thank you very much. If you need help, just hear that the Jeremiah Seed is nearby. And don't hesitate to ask for help. Within reason, of course. Of course. Farewell, then. <laughs> never found that ring. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Maybe if you, like, give the fisherman the beer? Give me a break. I don't have time now. Dear God, if it makes me wait again. Like, why? Why? I'm sure the thought process went something like, No, of course the bandits wouldn't attack in broad daylight. That's ridiculous. What if somebody saw them? wake her up. Maybe she'll just wake up. Please, will you just wake up? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Fuck you. Okay. Hey, L. Not, not great game design. Again, this is, I don't think this is by CD Projekt Red. This is by, uh, Whoever those guys that showed up in the beginning were. 
It just got included in like an official patch, it's all. Where the fuck is this guy? I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm so hungry. Why am I so hungry? Yeah. Cast Iron Pan, I got some mozzarella cheese, I got some salami, some pepper, some onions, some garlic, roast all that up, layer it in, deep dish Italian pizza. That's like a million hours from now, so. Sorry about your ring. Yes, Witcher? Here's a cure for the sick. How come? Did the merchant run out of the ace, but not let him get attacked by bandits? Bandits? Turned out the Caligo was leading to bandits and traveled this road. That's why it took messengers. Yes, it was also blah 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 going on here? Oh, is it going to be the ghost visiting the dad? Or something? I wonder how much time that took them. Welcome, father. Khaled, great gods, my son, you're alive! No father, I am a ghost. I was killed. I became a wraith. A wraith! Gods, help me! I was allowed to visit you one last time, father, before I depart this life. My beloved son! Daddy, I know you started drinking and stopped looking after the belongings. My son! because I've lost you. Before I depart, promise me you'll take care of the village and yourself, just like before. I promise, my son, I promise. I'll stop drinking and I'll get back to work. <laughs> Farewell, Witcher. So you are moving on. I'm not needed here. A witcher, once he does his job, is not welcome anymore. You exaggerate. Yeah, people are different. I have noticed crowds with flowers in their hands. Oh, I haven't noticed. Tilt on a better now. The village leader stopped drinking and started working again. The spirit of the dead. Part of me, all the credit goes to you, witcher. Time to hit the road, priestess. Farewell. Farewell, then. I wonder how much time went into the cinematic things. May Melitel protect you. Also, I wonder if that cinematic with, like, the father thing happened. F Where in development did that happen? Oh, yeah. I love this music, though. All right. They win. So three different Wisnowskis. shot now 
Anyways, it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit of the pacing. It's kind of awkward. Like, go here. Oh, now you have to wait for 12 hours. And then you gotta go here. And then you gotta wait for 12 hours. And then you gotta go here. I don't know what the ring was about. Whatever. I thought it'd be at the river area, but it wasn't. So what the fuck do I know? I'm so tired. And I'll see y'all later. I think it's, what, two more? The wedding is the next one. Oh, God. 